In the pre-dawn hours of our second day in Tanzania, Kelly, our guide Gil, more about him in a moment, and I climbed the high ridge that stood over our campsite to video the perfect sunrise. Having Gil as our guide was a comfort. He was born Dotoga, and this was his land. He and his American-born wife, Dolphy, are missionaries to the Todegas, a difficult endeavor, especially since they're considered one of the most unreached people in the world and live in a land under the stronghold of witch doctors. After we topped the ridge, we walked a long path that ended at a hut housing a family of five. I'm not sure who felt more awkward, Kelly, me, or the sweet family. Fortunately, Gil knew the father, which made it easy to ask them to pose for this very awkward family picture. What was particularly striking to me, other than the fact they never questioned why we were there, was the poor health of the three boys who were too young to attend school compared to the health of the two girls that did. While there, the father told us he wanted his children to attend school because there are few nurses and doctors in Tanzania, and he hopes that school will give his children a chance to become medical personnel and help people in their area. We had already been told that girls that go to school are treated with greater respect than those that do not. Nevertheless, hearing him was encouraging. The girls began their long hike to school, and suddenly our mission to video a sunrise changed to following them, and changed again when the girls met up with five classmates living in a neighboring hut. And those seven were joined with eight more children a mile up the ridge. And then like a great river following its own path, Streams of children began coming out of the thick bushes to meet at the top of the ridge before flowing down its rocky bank towards the school you now see in the background. Right here, I have to say kudos to Kelly. He stayed with his unfolding story like a champ. He followed the children as they rushed past the water well, which opened the door for them to go to school, to eat what is most likely their only meal for that day, and then go to church to worship our God who makes all things possible. We indeed witnessed a perfect Tanzanian sunrise. Hey.